Richmond County has always come together for local businesses. But supporting those businesses is now more important than ever. As a local business owner myself, I know that it takes a strong backing of the community to stay open and to continue to employ residents. And with governments shutting down businesses across the state of North Carolina due to the COVID-19 outbreak, many owners in Richmond County, like Sierra, are counting on you to keep them open and residents employed after the crisis is over. Restaurants are still offering curbside and pickup orders via phone calls, and many others allow customers to purchase gift cards. This is a time for Richmond County to come together and show support for one another. We can still practice social distancing while supporting those who will be affected by the coronavirus pandemic now and after. Do you want a healthcare career? Certified medical assistants are multi-skilled healthcare professionals capable of completing administrative and clerical tasks making them a valuable member of the health care team at medical clinics, doctor's offices, and other health care facilities. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the employment of medical assistants is projected to grow 23% over the next eight years, much faster than the national average. At Richmond Community College, our medical assisting students are trained in our cutting-edge simulation learning center, giving them hands-on experience with high-fidelity mannequins that simulate real-life patient interaction. In addition to clinical skills, our students also receive instruction in scheduling appointments, coding, processing insurance accounts, billing, collections, and medical transcription. Complete the medical assisting program in just two years and start your lifelong career today. Visit www.richmondcc.edu to learn more about enrolling in the medical assisting program at Richmond Community College or call 910 410 <laughs> Coach, we talked at the half uh, about some of the turnovers that you guys were experiencing, the penalties uh, in the first half. Obviously, you guys were able to shore that up a little bit. How were you able to do that? Well, I, again, I just think we just kept playing. And, and like I said, we were, we were in coverage early. And our kids were in great condition. They were able to keep running and keep and just, you know, it takes a little bit to get used to the speed of those kids as good as they are. And I think playing Hulk last week prepared us a little bit of the speed there. And then to continue playing and realize, hey, what I got to do with my feet, what I got to be. And the other thing is, we were able to get some penalties on them because we just kept switching D linemen and keeping them fresh and getting them behind the chains, you know, them having to hold us up front, being so fresh. So being able to switch, uh, flip that script on the, the penalties was, was big. Yeah, and I kind of want to piggyback off of what you just said. Uh, getting prepped for this week's game, have you guys seen a team like this no. before? No, I mean, other than last year. Right, right. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much it. Um, the closest thing, you know, the way they mixed up is pretty similar to Hump and, and Cardinal Gibbons, the way they're, they're mixing motion and putting, trying to pick routes and things like that. Yeah. You know, those those are big things. Um, but, you know, but, 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 but yeah, the speed and the speed last week from Hub helped us prepare a little bit. We haven't seen that kind of speed in the wide out position, you know, in several, several weeks. So that helped us a lot. Our kids even said afterwards, man, coach, I was gas, but I know I gotta be even more ready this week. So that I think that, that the way that the, the playoff bracket set up helped us get prepared for this game. And speaking of the playoff bracket, obviously at this moment you don't know who you're gonna be facing next week. So with that being said, how do you prepare for the upcoming Uh well 
big thing is just watching film, getting with the bands, seeing what we're going to do, and uh, seeing how they have, they, they, they played against uh, Western Side and those, those teams uh, previously, Mallard Creek, who's probably pretty similar to us in a lot of ways. So seeing what they do to some of those sets and, and just trying to get a game plan together is the big thing. All right, last question for you, Coach. Uh, obviously, it's time to celebrate a little bit. Uh, how long is celebration going to last, and then uh, what are you guys going to do? Well, the boys, the boys will get to celebrate until Monday. Uh, I'll, I'll celebrate till about 12 o'clock night, right. and then uh, uh, we'll, we'll try everything we can to get to work at that point. We have we have maybe one Vance film right now, uh, so we'll have to start getting some Vance film in, uh, and that's just from trading uh, where they played some other guys earlier. So uh, you know, we'll see what what we can find out, but uh, that's the big thing. Is that, for me, this is great. I know my job is better than you. I actually do their job. Congratulations, Coach.